Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy XV, Episode Gladiolus. Let's take on the final trial of Gilgamesh. Come here to die, have you? No. You looking to die again? <laughs> you use, but do not impress. You lack his conviction. What do you mean? Whose? He who traversed these caves some thirty years ago. Turning a deaf ear to our wails and wishes, he proceeded unfazed, eyes ever forward. Hmm. Yet he proved powerless before the general, cast out in defeat. If even he could not succeed, I see no hope for you. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> that guy must have left quite an impression when he laid it flat on his face. <laughs> I like the voice acting of the soul there. So how do we get into this place? I don't see a sword sticking out of the ground or anything. Oh, okay. That works. I knew I brought you along for some reason. Clarice would have tried to stop you, you know. Just like he tried to stop me. All those years ago. Hmm. How come? He didn't want you to die? Because one aspiring to the role of King's Shield can stake his life for none but his liege. Not even for himself. Hmm. Do you dare risk all for naught in return? His words stayed with me. Well, you made it out alive. If he was right. I barely made it back with nothing to show for it. Hmm. So you're gonna stop me? No, I won't. Good. I will warn you one last time of the danger you're about to face. Just like your father warned me. How hard could he possibly be? Once you set foot through that door, there's no turning back. And no one to help you if you fall. I've got Phoenix Downs. One false step and it may prove your last. I'd rather not use him. I'll be fine. Maybe I'll come back with a souvenir. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe. Just come back alive. Be safe, Gladio. I'll do the best I can. Let's see. In here, when they deposit you, yeah, you get, they got another treasure hidden behind you. Yeah, they love doing that in this game. There's a chill in the air. I can feel his presence. You better be ready for me. I think that's just the air conditioning, Gladio. No, no, just kidding. Let's see, there's a little platform to the southwest, but I don't think there's anything over there. Oddly enough, it's just kind of there. Anything up here? Doesn't look like it. Yeah, I don't know what the point of that area is. Oh, well. Wow, it's quite a sword collection you got there, pal. I'm not planning on adding mine to it. For boss time against Gilgamesh himself. I'm here. Brandishing your brute force. Yeah. Let's see if you can handle it. That's the general idea. Now, with Gilgamesh, I want to try and parry his attacks. I'm not sure if it, this is a thing or not, but it seems like if I parry his attacks at the last second, then I'll have a better chance of not only blocking them, but also having a chance to parry them like that in counter. Get your rage built up as much as you can. I don't like this camera angle, but I don't exactly have much of a choice here. So yeah, parry, counter in the first phase here. And build up that valor gauge as well. So after he does a whole bunch of attacks, he'll be vulnerable for maybe a hit or two. So what do I do? Just roll over and die? Yep. Yes. Haha! Blind reliance on strength alone is your weakness in me. Well, what else can I do? Countless disappointments met their end here. Hmm. And so shall you. To you, I'm worthy. I came here to live. Haha! -ha! 
trying to build up my Valor there. Yeah, he, that attack only hits in an area around him. Not too much to worry about there. Whoop! Yeah, when he jumps like that, gotta be able to be ready to uh, block that or dodge out of the way. Trying to block his attacks there. Get into maybe three hits there after a jump. Parry, counter. And actually, I'm going to save my uh, males from there since we're almost done with phase two. Come on. Get out of there. Yeah, in order to roll dodge, you need to let go of your target lock on him. You are strong, yet so long as fear binds your heart. The power you possess is wasted on you. Well, it seems to be working so far. Let's see what we can do uh, against him. For phase three, I want to get my rage up to four. Okay, that could have been worse. I'm trying to roll dodge out of the way of that attack, but I didn't do a very good job of it. At least I only got hit once. Yeah, I can't seem to block the... Uh, what is that? The jump as much in Phase 3 here. Probably should have waited until I got my Rage up there to use Maelstrom, but that's okay. Wait for it. Whoop. Ow. Try that again. Aha! There we go. Get a potion going there. Get in at least one hit. Wow, I was sitting there for quite some time. Yeah, I should have rolled dodged out of the way of that jump. I knew I was late on that. Wait for it. Okay. Uh-oh. Yeah, so now he's really going to wail on you. Let's get a high potion going there. Ow. Now he's going into pissy boss mode. There we go. Even if I had my Valor Gauge filled up at this point. I wouldn't use Maelstrom here in the third phase of the fight. Ow. No blood. Yeah, I need to learn to get out of the way of that jump. Ha ha! Trying to time my parries just right, if that's even a thing. I might just be paranoid. Got that. Come on. Uh, that was weird. I was trying to press the circle button to uh, cancel out of the item menu. Yeah, get out of the way. There we go. If I can just get my Valor Gauge full, we'd be fine. Yeah, that one is pretty hard to dodge. Whenever you see him charging up for an attack like that, you probably want to keep your distance from him as much as you can. Almost got him. Ha-ha! There we go! I kneel before no man! Good job there. Not exactly the souvenir I had in mind. Hmm. It took me a while, but I realized something. You're right. I am afraid. What? Afraid of accepting the fact that maybe I'm not really cut out for the job I'm expected to do. Don't have much of a choice. At least I'm not walking away empty-handed. Hmm. I'd better get going. 
I may be all muscle and no metal, but I'm gonna keep protecting Noct. The only way I know how. By chewing him out! Hmm. Spoken like a true shield of the king. Hey! Fear and doubt beget death alone. He who averts his gaze from his own faults cannot himself a true shield call. But you, having made peace with your inner self, have proven you are worthy. <laughs> so the chosen king should be so fortunate as to have a man like yourself serving at his side. You mean? Do I win a prize? And with this glaive, I entrust my power to you. <clears throat> I don't need that old thing anymore. It's a fancy looking sword. Where did you? Taken from the young man who impressed me with his strength of will. It was with this very blade he stole from me my arm. What? But... I can't accept this. If he still walks among the living, a man of his metal will have doubtless transcended attachment to mere material possessions. Hmm, maybe. <laughs> You're probably right. In that case, don't mind if I do. Now, hasten forth. With mind unclouded by doubt and will unmoved by fear. The last king of Lucis is ill fit to fight without his shield. Do the best we can. Thanks again. So I think you can actually use the sword in the main game after completing episode Gladiolus. Like it gets added to your inventory. You made it. Sure did. And so quickly. I'm impressed. Oh. Yeah, it was a pretty quick fight. Brought this back with me too. Figured you might get a kick out of it. Ha <laughs> ha. I wondered where I put that thing. You want it back? Keep it. Makes for a better souvenir than that scar. Hmm. <sighs> you know, he mentioned he lost his arm in battle with a real hot-headed young guy back in the day. <laughs> That's so. Whoever it was left a lasting impression on him. Talked about how the guy had the strongest will he'd ever seen. It takes more than will to complete the trial. You need to wield your weapon with a primal finesse. Uh, if you fail to prove your might, you get cast out empty-handed. I don't know. He didn't seem to think the guy would let it bother him. Hmm. Said the guy's too old to care about material things anymore. If he's still alive. <laughs> <laughs> Gladio. Anything else? I hope you feel more confident in light of your success today. Few men can lay claim to such an accomplishment. Not even Kor the Immortal. Yeah, but I didn't earn myself a badass nickname like he did. Still, I'm glad I went through with it. I can finally say I'm truly ready to fulfill my duty. I think Gladio gets a glaive art out of it too. Well, I guess this shield better mosey on back to his king. Wouldn't want him to get scared without me. <laughs> so I think that applies to the main game as well. Like during chapter 13 when you were controlling him. Or against one of the final bosses there when you controlled him. Or even if you just unlock the ability for it. So that's how you got it. What do you think? Very perpendicular. Yeah. It complements the one you got when you saved Nock from that bully. Yeah. Only difference is, this time, I ended up taking a pretty bad beating, too. Uh, not unlike the licking the Marshal received back when he was a lad. Hmm. Must have had a lot of guts to go up against Gilgamesh back then. Yeah. 
Dad said he used to be a real firecracker. The more you know. Hmm. If the Blade Master sequestered himself during the Founder King's reign, then he's haunted those halls for some two millennia. At least! That's a long time. All those years waiting for the Chosen King to arrive? You sure know how to take your sweet old time. What can I say? I'm worth the wait. <laughs> Give me a break! And I as well. <sighs> Just because you got a shield to protect you now doesn't mean you get to slack off. Someone's got to deal the damage. But if you do, I'll be ready. Alright, so I hope you've enjoyed Let's Play Final Fantasy XV Episode Gladiolus. I liked the controls for him probably better than the other two, in my opinion. It's basically just like using Noctis with the great sword, but you... Uh, what is it? But uh, you can't warp strike, and parrying is a lot more important. But, uh, ah, there we go. So yeah, there's the Genji Blade that we can use in the main game, and Duel Master, Glaive Arts. And, okay, so yeah, once you charge up your Valor to use Maelstrom, then you'll see a prompt to press the triangle button to add even more damage to it. Let's see, there's still a couple other things that you can do now that you've beaten Episode Gladiolus. We got Score Attack, which is basically going through the entire scenario uh, without, like, the dialogue or the story or anything, and trying to score as many points as you can. I think, like, making successful parries and stuff, like, really helps jack up the score there. And there's some things that you can even unlock if you score... I think 500,000 points or a million points. So I might think about showing that off there. What's the Hall of Fame for? Oh, I guess for the score attack mode there. And there's also the final trial that you can do, which is against uh, Kor himself this time there. And actually, let's do the final trial. I wasn't planning on doing that. But, well, it's a pretty quick fight. One way or the other. What makes it so difficult is that you've only got three potions, one phoenix down, and that's all. So you have to have really tight timing on your blocks, parries, dodges. And even Gladio's impervious ability... Where if he takes a really big hit and you press the square button a split second after that, you can regenerate the HP that you would have lost. Which is absolutely critical here against Kor the Immortal. For boss time! Congratulations, Gladio. You accomplished that which well, if I can hit the guy, that would make this a lot easier. But yeah, Kor is just really, really bad now, even if I get a parry and I miss core, I would still recommend attacking like one or two times after that. Sometimes, if you parry him just perfectly, you can make him vulnerable there and make him, yeah, or deal a ton of damage to him there. If I could get, build up my rage after some parries, so much the better. Whoa! Yeah, you see how I uh, regenerated my HP after that big hit there? Yeah, that's impervious. When you press the square button just before you hit the ground. That time I was not so impervious, though. The timing has to be just perfect, though. So yeah, you see how I missed that first attack after I parried him? But then I just kept on attacking him anyway? Whoa! Ow. Yeah, his jump attack is ridiculously powerful. Ideally, I would roll dodge out of the way, but it's just so fast, I can't get out of the way. Well, at least I'm doing pretty good with my impervious. But, uh, 
Yeah, it would be even better if I could keep my HP up there. But, uh, okay, so now I've got mails from ready to go. Okay, now, go! Yes! I wanted to wait until my rage got up to times four and make him vulnerable there. Use mails from follow up with Duel Master. And then we'll be in really good shape. Ha ha! Got him! Woohoo! At ease. Woo! This ends your final trial. You did Claire as proud today. Now go. Walk tall as the shield of the chosen king. Hey! All right. Do I get a reward for that? Oh, a, a nice little, uh... Ah, there we go, an achievement! Ha-ha! There we go! Man, that fight is just ridiculously hard. I probably fought him, like, 50 times or something until I finally got a win out of him there. Just because I had, uh... I got pretty lucky with Impervious there and getting Maelstrom ready to go at just the time when I had my rage up to times four there. So, and I made him vulnerable, which also further added to the damage. Is someone breathing? I thought I heard someone breathing in game that is like, ugh, something like that. But in any case, we got him. Hooray! So I'll think about doing the score attack as well to get a million points. You can do that in like less than half an hour, so that might be a quick episode. But it depends on on my patience with that. I mean, if I can do it, that would be nice. But if not, then I'll just move on to episode prompto. Next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy XV. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.